Security is really tight this morning in Paris as France braces for a crucial ruling on Emmanuel Macron's controversial pension reform. It comes after 12 days of national protests over the proposed reforms. CTV's chief international correspondent, Paul Workman, is standing by with more for us this morning. Good morning to you, Paul. So France eagerly awaiting the highly anticipated court ruling set the stage for us. Mm. Well, let's go back a couple of years, I guess we can start there, when um, President Macron decided that he wanted to raise the retirement age in France from what it is now, 62 to 64. And he prepared the legislation and, and pushed it through towards the National Assembly of the country, and he was prepared to hold a vote on it. About a month or so ago, all of a sudden, at the last minute, he pulled the vote down because he was worried about losing it and instead rammed this pension reform package through the National Assembly, which he believes he was allowed to do constitutionally. There has been a challenge to that by the unions um, in the country. And today we will hear the ruling of whether it is constitutionally correct or not for him to do that. And that's what the anticipation is all about in the city of Paris and of course across the whole country, Marcia. So we have seen almost two weeks of national protests over this proposed mm -hmm. reform. France clearly preparing uh, for the ruling. But before we get to that, Paul, what are Macron's mm -hmm. reasons for wanting to raise the age to 64? Well, first of all, because there are a lot of people going into the pension category, reaching that age now, the baby boomers. and. Macron says the country simply can't afford to pay out all of these people unless the retirement age is raised to sort of stagger it if he possibly can. He just says the country's pension plan would go broke if they ran this through. On the other hand, all the workers of France largely depend on public pensions when they retire. There aren't private pension schemes the way we have in Canada, the way we have here uh, in, in the United Kingdom. And so for many French workers, their pensionability is a right. It's, it's considered a right more than a privilege. And Macron is saying, no, that is not wrong. It is not a right. It is a privilege and it has to be changed if you want to be able to have the pension that you're now looking forward to when you do retire down the road. Got it. Okay. So in terms of how France is readying itself and what's at stake for wow. the French president following the decision, what is it, Paul? Well, the French president is fine. His job is protected. He's not going to be thrown out of office. Uh, it is very rare that the Constitutional Council would go against this kind of legislation being pushed through. It's been used, the same clause has been used 80 times or so going back to the 1980s. So it's quite likely that it will be approved and Macron will try to weather what's happening on the streets, all of these protests and all of these demonstrations, hoping now that the, the issue is settled constitutionally, everybody will go off the streets, back to their jobs and go home, Marcia. Paul Workman for us. Paul, thank you for all that. Really appreciate it.